Hey everyone, a recent commenter asked me a question about a video that I posted. Uh, it was a 2.7K video from a GoPro Hero 3 Plus uh, that I took up on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'm going to read you his questions. Hi, what is your workflow from GoPro to YouTube with this video? Very nice colors and sharpness. I understand there have been some people that have some sharpness issues with the Hero 3 Plus. I will say that to date, I've not had that problem at all. It's, it's pretty sharp. Not as sharp as what their marketing materials seem to suggest, but very sharp indeed. I've had no trouble with that. Uh, this person's asking about my, my workflow for that particular video, and I'm going to put a link to that video so you can go there and look at it. Uh, all I did was straight out of my uh, GoPro, took the 2.7K video out of the uh, off the GoPro, put it into the computer, brought it into uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and then exported. I think I shot that one, of course, at 30 frames per second and um, did not use protein it was just a regular uh, regular video 30 frames per second it did turn out pretty nice and pretty sharp uh, then i export from adobe premiere pro using h264 compression i try to keep the videos short if i'm shooting in 2.7k you know so you don't have a humongous file because i'm trying to usually get at least 22 to 24 26 megs per second when i um, convert to go up to YouTube. So I usually do take the 40 or 50 meg per second video and downsize it a bit so it can go quick more quickly up to YouTube. So that one was a pretty sharp piece of video. Um, I will say this, if you're trying to get the absolute best quality out of your GoPro, uh, try using the GoPro Studio. Just download it for free. Um, I don't recommend doing serious editing in that, but I do recommend if you're looking for the ultimate sharpness and color saturation then the thing to do is bring that protein video you can you can actually edit the other regular video in there as well i just don't know that it's so much of an advantage to convert but if you're shooting in protein which is the the mode of course that gives you the best uh data rate you know the, the most amount of data in the uh, video then you can pull that into gopro studio and convert to the cineform codec now, what that does, uh, you can pull protein videos straight into Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and it will allow you to do some very rich color editing. But if you want to really get the most, pull it into GoPro Studio, convert to Cineform Codec. It will make the video like five times larger than it is. Uh, like it might be a 80 meg piece of video, and all of a sudden it's 400 megs. It's huge. But then you'll be able to do a whole lot of very fine color and contrast, uh, hue, tone, saturation type things, and sharpness in uh, the GoPro Studio. And then what you can do, you can you can take your piece of video, export it uh, at whatever rate you want to. You can do a custom export. And I might do a video to show how this is done. And, and then, of course, you know, export at a very high bit rate, bit rate, like 50 megs per second or 60 megs per second pull it into Premiere, then do your editing, your serious editing, you're cutting out all your bad stuff. You can also do that inside GoPro Studio. It's just more cumbersome. But if you're shooting short clips, uh, you can go in there, you can do all the color saturation you want to. You can break, let's say you've got a one minute piece of video and you, you only need 10 seconds here, five seconds there, eight seconds here. Then you can cut that video up into pieces and have different saturations and stuff and actually add keyframes that allow saturation and contrast and stuff to change over time. So that is my workflow. Um, if I'm just general video blogging, most of the time I'm going straight into Premiere, non-protein video. I'm uploading, trying to get a yield of at least uh, 20, 24 26 megs per second youtube's going to recompress it and, and wreak havoc on your video anyway so you, you know you're not going to gain a whole lot by putting up a 40 or 50 meg per second piece of video youtube is going to squash it it's going to happen um, but then also if i want just the most pristine color best saturation then I'm going to convert to the uh, Cineform um, uh, codec. You can bring the Cineform codec now into Adobe Premiere Pro if you want to. You don't have to do your color saturation in the GoPro Studio, but GoPro Studio is pretty cool for that. And then you can export from there and, and, and with a really high quality um, H.264 MPEG-4 and edit in Premiere Pro. That's about it, folks. That's all I can say. Five minutes. Uh, let me know if that's not clear. Those of you who have any questions, I can try to post a, 
a video where I'm one of the over the shoulder kind of screen capture things again. And I'll try to show you maybe better how GoPro Studio works. It's a sol solid little program. It's very stripped down. It, it, it's a little bit aggravating to have to edit in it, but the color adjustment and everything's are worth uh, delving into if you want to get just very good color. Plus, it has a nice sharpness slider where you can actually sharpen things up a bit more, it's sort of like in sharp masking in Adobe Photoshop. Peace to everyone. Hope I've been a, a help, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. Be cool, and keep watching.